hello and welcome to another video in golang tutorial for beginners and in today's video we'll be looking at defer keyword in golang so let's get started so what is a defer keyword a defer statement is used to ensure that a function call is performed later in a program's execution usually for purposes of cleanup and a defer statement pushes a function call onto a list and the list of saved calls is executed after the surrounding function returns. And a defer statement defers the execution of a function until the surrounding function returns. So this I have taken from the Golang documentation. So let, let me explain you this. So let me open the Visual Studio code. So in here, I have one statement that is printf statement which is printing hello. So what I will do, I will add one more statement and which will say it should print my name suppose Gunesh so if you go ahead and run this it will print hello and then Gunesh in a sequential order so what if you go ahead and uh, add deferred keyword in front of the first statement so if you go ahead and run this it will print Gunesh first and then it will print hello so what it has done here it has deferred the first statement which means it didn't print the output of this first statement it just immediately executed it and moved to next statement and when the function that is this main function call is written which means when the control comes out of this curly braces at that time it will just print whatever was deferred so when the function was returning at that time it just checked if uh, any deferred statement or functions are there if they are there then it will just print that so like that it has done so in the same way what if we had like more than one deferred keywords so let me just copy this and i'll add one more statement here and it will print my surname so and what i will do is I'll add defer to all the three statements and let's find out what happens now so now you can see it is printing in reverse order so all the deferred statements are put in a stack and uh, stack is a representation of LIFO that is last in first out so Shanbhag was added last so it 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 came out first then it was Gunesh then it was hello so in the LIFO order it has printed all the different items it was having in the stack so this is how a deferred keyword actually works and it's very convenient way uh, to execute a piece of code and it is mainly used for the cleanup purposes so I'll show you one more code in which uh, we'll open a file and we'll add some values or we'll add some uh, text inside that uh, file and when we close it, we will just use deferred statement or deferred keyword to close the file properly. Without so now I will show you the second example in which we'll be using it the deferred keyword for cleanup purposes. So defer is used to ensure that a function call is performed later in a program's execution. And usually the, for the purposes of cleanup, to be honest, and uh, defer is often used where example ensure and finally would be used in other languages like Java, etc so in this example what we are doing is we are creating a file then writing to it and then closing that file when we are done and here's how we can do it with the defer keyword first of all i'm importing the os library in so in the import function block and we have created three uh, functions so this code i have taken from the website called go by example.com and I will give you the link of the website uh, post in the video description also. So in here we are creating three uh, three files. We are defining that uh, create file is there in which we are uh, just getting the path to the file which you want to create and we'll return one uh, file object pointer. So we have not uh, seen the how to work with the functions in the later videos i will show you but i'm just giving you a general idea so what this function will do so we'll first print the uh, creating as the output 
since we are inside the create file function then we are using the create function from the OS library to just create one file and we are passing the p that is the string of the file name to the create function and we'll just take the f or you can say file object and we'll save it and we'll return it back to the main function and if there are any errors uh, if the path is wrong or file name is wrong we'll just uh, print it out using panic and uh, i'll show you the what what is the use case of panic statement or panic keyword in uh, next videos the second function is write file so whenever we are inside this write file and the first thing is that uh, it will take file object file pointer object as the input and it will just print writing and then it will just print the string data inside the file so we are taking the fprintf fprintln function and inside that we are passing the file object as the first parameter and second as the data which you want to print or data which you want to include in that file the third function is close file and the close file will take the file object pointer again as parameter and it will just print closing on the screen and while closing it will just check if there, in, there are any errors so for that we have created a variable called ERR and in, inside that we will just pass whatever the output we are getting from f.close or the file object close function and if there are any errors if error is not equal to nil means means that there is an error we will just print out that error using uh, fprintf and parameters that is standard error output and the error and what is the value of the error and we'll just exit the program using the os.exit function so i have not uh, given the function call so i'll just create the three function for function calls for the three functions so the first one would be we'll have one uh, file object so we'll have f colon equal to we'll call the create file function and inside this function we'll just pass the path to the file which you want to create so i want to create in the temp folder that is temporary folder so i'll give forward slash temp then forward slash then again data or you can say defer dot txt so this will send the path of the create file and it will just return the file object pointer from the create file the next would be usually we can give a write file and it will have f because we have to pass the file object pointer and the third thing would be the third function would be close file it will also take f as a file pointer to close the file so generally this will work but uh, we can use defer for this purposes so that we don't need to worry about uh, any errors we are getting in between so what i will do before writing the file we just defer the close file so the execution of the close file will only work or only execute when the main function has uh, executed all the other functions such as write file etc and when the control will be coming out of this main function block or the main function will be returning at that time the defer function call will be turned and we'll get any errors if there are so this is one uh, handy approach when we are working with the uh, opening and closing of files or now if you go ahead and run this we'll see that first it is printing creating that means it has gone inside the create file function then it has gone into write file function for writing and when the main function returns the call at that time the deferred function call that is close file will be run and it will just print closing so this is how you can use uh, defer statement and one more thing is i'll just check if uh, the data which you wanted which we added to the defer.txt is printed or not 
so you can see data as a string is in, inside the present inside the default.txt so this is how you can use the defaults keyword while working with the file operation etc and there are many other op approaches also so this for the beginning and you can go through this approach so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video